Hello, and welcome to the video for what are the in-range float and in-range integer nodes. These are the in-range float and in-range integer nodes right here. Now, in-range integer was added in Unreal Engine 4.18, so if you don't see this node, you'll need 4.18 or later. In-range float is in previous versions. The goal of this is basically to prevent you from having to do something like this. Is a value greater than or less than another value? Or is it greater than or equal to another value? Do I need to make multiple macros to handle this? No, we have these nodes. And they basically condense those ifs and ands into one simple thing. We have a value that comes in, a float or an integer, depending on which node you're using. And you're comparing it against a min and a max. By default, this is what you're going to get. Is this value greater than or less than the minimum? And is it less than or equal to the maximum? And if we run this and we check our value is 0, 0.0 and our comparisons are 0, 0.0 and 1.0, we're going to get true because 0, 0.0 is greater than or equal to 0, 0.0 and is less than or equal to 1.0. The inclusive min and inclusive max booleans basically determine if we're using the equal sign. If we uncheck these, we're no longer comparing this value less than or equal to. We're just checking it to greater than or less than. No longer the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And I can show you that. We've unchecked these. We'll hit play. We'll check our answer and we'll get false. 0.0, .0 is not greater than 0, 0.0 it is less than 1.0 but it's not greater than 0, 0.0 we're no longer checking the equal that's what our inclusives done if we change this of course we could do 0. 0.00001 that of course will be greater than 0, 0.0 now and we can of course validate that is correct it is true that's it that is our node well nodes in a nutshell it simplifies, instead of using this giant mess, into one node. Input a value. Is that value going to be greater than or less than minimum or maximum? And if we want to also include the minimum and maximum as part of that comparison, we can inclusively include the minimum and inclusively include the maximum. And that basically turns on the equal signs.